Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to LEGO DC Super Villains. Yay. Whoops, arrow kind of dropped his arrow. Yeah, pick that up there. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and today we're going to be heading to the Watchtower, which is up there. Whoa. And a lot of people probably didn't know this, but inside the Hall of Justice, there is a slideways teleporter that leads to the Watchtower. Yay. Although the Hall of Justice is not normally located in Metropolis, sometimes it's kind of in between Star and Coast City, uh, and there are branches of it, like little buildings in Metropolis or Gotham. It all depends, you know, what's going on with that. Oh, so. okay. But we just want to open That's this up cool here. That's cool that you remember all that stuff. I am able to remember useless facts. It's sometimes fascinating, but also kind of like, my life is sad. Ooh, keeps us into a job. Ah, that's true. Better than memorizing... Actually, it's not really useless if it gives you a job and other helps other people to appreciate something and stuff. Yeah, I had a weird day at work. I just, like... It was just really... Everything was super fast-paced and everyone was getting their turkey, so... That means we have to, um... Yeah. Um, order our turkey stuff soon. Yeah, we can do that tonight. Like, uh, you told me they have a website. I just go there yeah. and boom. Also, I... going down over on the west side of town. It's super exclusive. There it is. You wouldn't get Sorry, it. I got lost. This no, is the uh, okay. teleporter that goes to the watchtower. And I'm using my bracelet power. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Now, the only problem with the watchtower in this game, there's really not much of it. So, you know how in the cartoon show and some other versions of the watchtower, it's like this massive space station that you can explore and it's huge and stuff like this. Watchtower pretty much consists of this. That's that's pretty much it. Oh, this is it? Oh, there's a red... Is that the sun? Hmm? Is that our sun or is it... That's our sun. Whoa, what's that weird tentacle out there? Uh, it's like a sand creature. Now, remember, the Watchtower played Whoa. a huge role in LEGO Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. And, uh, you know, it was huge. Yeah. But this one is just kind of... It's also... This is a completely different style, which really makes me believe that DC's next LEGO game is going to be about the multiverse. Because this is a completely different version of the Watchtower than what we explored because remember how yeah. big that was? It had like um, a room where Adam West hung out. It had like statues of all the Justice League members. It was so cool. Yep, definitely. Yeah. So yeah, today I don't know. It's just I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what I was going to... Oh, right. So people were getting their free tur... Uh, oh, there was like a big sale on free turkeys and stuff. Free turkeys? Yeah. Wow. I had, like, tons of people come through my line, and... Yeah, it was... Uh, it was... They forgot to give me a break, because... Like, until, like, the last 20 minutes of my shift, and then they were like, Oh, we forgot to give you a break. Did you want to take a 15-minute break now? And I was just like... Uh, no, I'm, I'm okay. Hmm. I figured it was fine, because I only... It was good. I was well, like, you, you guys... got to come home, and I gave you pizza, so... Because I said... Oh, I said... I, I even oh, told them, I was like, well... Fixed on my own. Yeah, I was just like, well, I'm just glad that I didn't get it. I didn't want to get asked to stay because I really wanted to go home and try to make some soup and stuff like that and hang out with my husband. They were like, oh, that's that's very nice of you. And I was like, yeah, no problem. Yeah, Amber's going to make some mushroom soup tonight or something. Except for, um, I might need to eventually get, like, a blender oh, hey thing. hey there. Don't okay. mind the mess. You'd think being superheroes, they might be a little better at tidying up after themselves. Anyway, I need to clear those containers, but... Ugh. In typical fashion, it looks like the system for the hangar shield got damaged in the ruckus, and now I can't get to them. You wouldn't mind helping out, would you? Sure, I wouldn't mind. Also, remember there are tons of uh, employees and stuff on the watchtower, especially Whoa. after the uh, Thanagar invasion. Like, you know, when uh, Batman had to steer the watchtower into the... Uh, I guess it was like a Thanagarian machine that was going to use the Earth as kind of like a um, a highway to get to the alien world. Oh, yeah. And the Earth would be destroyed. I don't know if that was a comic book thing or if that was a Dwayne McDuffie storyline, but it was brilliant. And it's something yeah, I think that would work really well in the DC Cinematic Universe. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so... Yeah, I mean, yeah, the idea that... 
I mean, even when you're just talking about that, you know, the idea that people was bulldoze, bulldoze like highways through people's houses and through like lands of people that people don't really care about and stuff. And then when it really hits home, like, oh, what if an interplanetary people are going to bulldoze right through Earth and be like, oh, it doesn't really matter. It's just one civilization. One sa civilization to save. Apparently there are more people that live on Thanagar than they do Earth. Earth has like, you know, a couple billion people and Thanagar had like zillions of people or something like that. So oh. they were trying to view it as like the many, the good of the many out me, the good of the one. So that would mm -hmm. be utilitarianism, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is kind of like basically like communism. It's no good. I can't use it. All right, so we need to bring in a character that can use mind control, and that would be John Jones. Which was interesting because there was an episode about that on Star Trek, where um, Spock actually said that. The good of the many outweighed the good of the one, so he said that his life didn't matter, and that he was going to give his life for everyone, and it didn't matter. And then, then um, Captain Kirk uh, actually went against him, and he was like, "No, Spock, in for he's like humans believe that every life matters, and he's like the good of the one life is more important than everyone's life together. It's like we're all equal, we all matter." And Spock couldn't understand that, and I was like, "That was kind of a cool episode." Because he was saying everyone's life was important to Spock. So, if you guys are wondering why we're still playing... Oh, we destroyed the javelin, whoops. The uh, reason why... Uh, what? <laughs> oh. Oh! Did I do that? I'm getting out of here. Maintenance can sort it out later! Maintenance can sort it out later. So, uh, we just destroyed the javelin. But how Amber and I like to do things when we show off a character is what we did different in our other LEGO series of when we would unlock somebody. Uh, we would tend to just play with the characters that would be very easy to get the gold bricks and stuff like that, which it made our series more streamlined. But this time around, people kind of like that we show different characters every episode. So, But yeah. the problem with that is we don't know all the powers that are associated with said characters, unlike when you know we just started the game. Yeah. I guess I yeah. need to be closer. It's kind of hard to know, like, what are exactly what our characters can actually do. I don't know if I should jump in or what. I don't know what I'm doing here. I can do whatever you want. I guess I'll jump in. This series has been going on now for over a month, and it's it's a very laxed kind of fun thing. And we will be looking at DLC whenever that really? decides to release. Just need two more. Just need two more. Totally destroying the watchtower. Nobody cares. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be this person. Wait, what? I thought. Desad? Who is that? Desad. You know. I thought it was a girl in pink, but apparently it's not. No, that's totally Desad. Who is this guy? Desad is an evil guy. No. Well, yeah, that's all you need to know. I just. He's Pajama Man. Wait, I just made like a portal? Well, oh, no. I no. Didn't. no, I didn't. You did. I think. Assad yeah. is one of Darkseid's big guys. Now, I don't know where um, Jon Stewart is. I'm getting conflicted reports from our viewers. They say that he's on the Watchtower, which it's hard for me to believe because the Watchtower is a very small environment. And other people say that he's in the Hall of Justice, but I don't remember seeing a briefcase when we were exploring the Hall of Justice. So, Maybe he's just floating out into space. No, I don't, I don't see that happening, no. No, it would make sense to have like a green lantern in a space thing because I don't believe you can go to Oa as a free roaming environment unlike Lego Batman 3. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. Yeah. I actually met a customer that was really nice today. He was talking about Thanksgiving. He said his family was really far away and that he, all his friends kept like trying to get him to come over. Or people that he knew kept trying to get him to come over to their house, and he was like, he's like, I don't really like a lot of fanfare for, you know, holidays. He's like, I just want to sit home and relax and have a nice holiday, mm -hmm. even if it's by myself. And he's like, I think I'm allowed to do that. And I was like, I was like, yeah, I think you are too, because I said we're probably gonna be home with our cats, like. Because I can't go anywhere. My family's in Illinois. Luke's family's in New York. Like, I can't always... I said, I ended up in debt, like, just trying to always try to keep up with trying to go to everyone's holidays all the time. 
Oh yeah. So yeah, that was nice. I, I don't. Know. Whoops. So yeah, hopefully we'll just have a nice quiet. Plus, I found out that at my job, I'm gonna to have to see if I'm working. And I don't really care. All that matters is the job's getting done. Apparently, my store is open on Thanksgiving, so I may or may not be working. That's okay. I totally understand. I got to spend a lot of Thanksgivings with you. It's okay. No, no, no. It's only open till the afternoon, so I can, I can always spend the evening with you. That's fine. I mean, you know, I tend to eat in the evening. I'm not. I, I'm totally. I know that you needed to get the job for a lot of reasons, so it's okay. Okay. All right. So, trying to figure out what we need to do next. I broke a bunch of stuff, but. I... Why does he twist when he jumps? That's, eh, that's something to do. So why does he work for Darkseid? Does Darkseid pay him well? Uh, that's a very good question. Oh! Oh! Oh, Desaad, go through the vent, yo! Oh, sorry. There you go, destroy that. Oops. Oh, um, they'll switch you to a yeah. character. You, it's a, stand in the circle and then hit the triangle and it'll bring up a character you need to use. He looks confused. No, just hold in the triangle, sweetie. See? As long as you're close to the marker, it will highlight the character that you need to use. Which oh, is... That a, makes it easier mm -hmm. for me. Makes it easier for a lot of people. Yeah, definitely. So, I mean, I guess we can explore the Hall of Justice a little bit more today because I'm not seeing uh, any briefcase. I mean, I'm gonna go back and look in the main room. Which isn't going to affect anything for you, but I just yeah. want to double check. There we go. Let's all pretty much destroy everything. Because that's how Donna Troy rolls! Just destroying things. Oh, man. But no, I mean, it, it's a nice little Easter egg. I, I would say they probably made the watchtower small. Ouch. Just like the, uh, uh, the base where the Legion of Doom hangs out. You know, the um, headquarters of Doom or whatever it's called. I kicked that. And you have fun kicking it? Who am I right now? Atom. The Atom. The Atom. Alright, so I guess. Oh, I just go up here. That's weird. See, I've pretty much obliterated everything up here. So. How do I. What do I do? This is all there is up here? Apparently. It's just some coins. Names. Did you see a briefcase over there or no? Huh? Oh, wait. Oh. No, I'm gonna come to you. That's yeah. cool. I just already came through. You want me to go try to find a briefcase again? Uh, I mean, that's what we're kind of on the lookout all for. Alright, alright, I'll go check again. I, I don't think there's a character hidden on top of the watchtower. I think that's... I just felt... Oh. See? It was like, maybe walk all the way to the end of that? That's it? That's all there is? Okay. That's cool. I don't have the, the best vision of pointing out briefcases and stuff, so, I mean... It's not a big deal. Alright, I'll rejoin you then. Whoops. Yeah. I like the music for the Watchtower, though. It's heroic. You know? Yeah, definitely. Aha! Feeling if I keep this right, John Stewart. We found John Stewart. All right, so there you go. He is actually right there. It's kind of cool. All right, I'm gonna bring John in. Ah, I mean John. Oh yeah, John. <laughs> I know. When the Justice League, there was John and there was John. It was so weird. It was like, oh my gosh, their names are. Good I'm in today. Oh, it's not. Ah, uh, it's not Philomar. Sadness. Yep. Why is that floating ah, there? Good. With all the cells in place, that should allow you to use the energy field control console. Okay. Mm. All right. I can't use the energy control because I'm not a tech person. Techie. I've never done a puzzle like this, so just do your best. Mm. John Stewart. I don't really understand this puzzle. Maybe click the different color dots. Yeah, that's... Connect the yellow to the yellow, maybe. Oh! I don't know. It's close enough. 
Oh. I think you're right. I think it's just all yellow sweet. Oh, maybe not. Orange and orange. Orange you glad. And purple and purple. So we just connect the colors? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, that's what I did. Uh, that's that's all I had to do? What is that noise? No! Oh, no, 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 no. I need to reset that energy field now. Space octopus! Boss is not going to be happy. That's his new furniture. Or at least it was. Has that thing always been out there? We should probably yeah. check that, right? Maybe I can get Kevin to tell him. He likes Kevin. Oh, fun fun fact about octopuses. I don't know if scientists believe that they're from <laughs> they've reevaluated octopuses. I probably already said this in another video. I don't know. But they said that they have determined that octopuses are actually not from this earth, they're from alien origin. Somehow they got here somehow. They don't know how. So there's our scientists for ya. That's what Anyway, hey, I'm not going to comment on this. Haven't I seen one of these before? All right, so there we go, guys. That's where John Stewart was. This is the watchtower. And can you drop out for a second, sweetie? All right, now let's see what John can. I did it again. I almost called him John. Ah, could see what uh, John Stewart does. I like how he's right next to um, GL. Okay, yep. so just like how he has a super jump, he can use a grapple ability, which is weird because Sinestro doesn't use a grapple ability. He can fly, mm. uh, deflect stuff, uh, illumination. He can do impact switches, so the hammer points of Harley Quinn. He has mm. the lantern constructs, selfie powers, which is a good power, x ray vision, vent travel, the shield, security access. And that's pretty much it. Determined to make the world a better place, John Stewart chose to serve his country but was discharged after a moral dilemma led him refusing to follow orders. Impressed by his many skills as well as the strength of his convictions, the Guardians chose John to become a Green Lantern. First comic appearance, Green Lantern, 87, 1971. That's actually incorrect. Uh, John was actually chosen to be a successor to Hal Jordan by Hal Jordan in the 70s and he was kind of like a Green Lantern partner slash sidekick role and then in the 80s he really came into his own and 90s and of course uh, that was the version of uh, the you know Marine version of Jon oh. Stewart is the one that the uh, oh the, the one writer that we like Dwayne McDuffie used for the Justice League when he had a list of all characters that he could use yeah. that DC allowed when they were picking names to bring into their Justice League show, he chose Jon Stewart, mm -hmm. and he combined a little bit of Hal Jordan's uh, military stuff with Jon Stewart's Marine background, yeah. as well as, uh, you know, changed his backstory a little bit. Not all that much, though. Yeah. yeah I really like how he actually portrayed him in the Justice League. It, uh, it just was like a really good um, like role model and like really nice guy and hardworking guy. Yeah, I really liked how they did it. Also, the one episode where they had um, Hal Jordan like switch in like during uh, alternate Earth type thing, and Hal is just like Hal Jordan, totally up to speed. And they just explain what's going on with the different like worlds like combining and the past being erased and the multiverse kind of under attack by that one uh, crazy guy. Oh, that yeah. found, I guess he was called Kronos, I don't remember. But it was, it was such a cool episode. And uh, if you guys didn't know, Phil Lamar is normally the voice of Green Lantern. Yay. And it's one of his favorite characters next to Samurai Jack, which is another character that <laughs> Phil actually does the That's voice of. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Also, he does... Well, I know he does Aquaman in the Injustice. I don't know what other Aquaman he, he does. did Aquaman in Young Justice, and he will be reprising his role as well for um, the King of Atlantis. I like his voice of Aquaman, too, because it feels like he's doing a very powerful sounding voice. Mm -hmm. And Aquaman has not really had the most luck of uh, being seen as a powerhouse 
character. Yeah. So I like what they've done with him in the 90s and the 80s and given him more like credibility because he actually is a pretty strong character. Yeah, I like the powerful voice of Aquaman because he is a, such a powerful like person. Like he's one of the most powerful people in the I feel like he could oh, I feel like he's more powerful than Wonder Woman, definitely. And he could almost stand up to Superman, but not really. <laughs> But he's, you know, he's ex he has a lot of powers. He just hides them under the sea, basically. Under the sea. Uh. Yeah, he's a really cool, interesting character, definitely. But yeah, this is cool. Um, the one thing that's kind of bugging me about uh, John Stewart right now is the fact that he has hair. <laughs> he had hair in the 70s. All right, because like in the you're so used to the uh, in the, the bald Justice look. League, yeah. I'm just like I'm used to him being bald, and it's just like okay, I'm just like wait, his hair is this is this isn't John Stewart. He has hair. Oh, this isn't John I'm so Stewart. bad. No, it's it's John Stewart. He would look so weird if he had the, one of those little like. Lex Luthor, like, the way his head is with that little, like, Lego top mm -hmm. where it's just, like, no hair at all. But it, that's how they kind of did him before in the other Lego games, isn't it? I thought they might have. Maybe they gave him kind of, like, um, a military cut. Like, I mean, he, he's grown his hair out in the, uh... Maybe he's gone on vacation and he grew his hair out. I was, I was gonna say the new 52, he kind of grew his hair out a little bit. But, I mean... He's, oh, yeah, because he probably had to cut his. He probably wait, had to get his wait, hair wait, really wait, short wait, wait, wait. for he the wasn't, military. He wasn't fully bald until Justice League Unlimited. In Justice League, he had like a military haircut. Oh, okay. It was really short. Super uh, short. He had a marine cut because he was a marine. Yeah. But yeah, then in Justice League Unlimited, they were like, you know what? We're gonna do the Mr. Clean with Chon. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Clean. Yeah, that's the easiest way to explain it. Michael <laughs> Jordan. <laughs> yeah, they Michael Jordan him. Uh, yeah. All right, guys and gals, I am not seeing the briefcase you said Amber and I missed yesterday when we were uh, doing the uh, Hall of Justice. You can come back in, sweetie. I've, I've explored everything. That'd be nice. What? <laughs> Oh! No, I don't want to ride the train. That's kind of cool that the train comes right to the Hall of Justice, though. I know, I wish our train came that fast. Oh, I don't. Well, I still really haven't ridden a train, train except for a subway with uh, Danny and oh, Evelyn. yeah, that's right. We were supposed to... There is a train that comes out of... Is there a train that comes near... I forgot. No, we had to, like, drive so many... We had to drive like 40 minutes to try to find a place to go off the train. I just want to say this though, I don't like how they removed the lantern's ability to use the lasers. I think that was a, oh, a great yeah. power that they shouldn't have taken away. You know, because... What should I do here? Oh, that just brings you into the Hall of Justice, like the, the inner sanctuary or whatever you want to call it. Never mind. Like where all the, uh, the statues are. Although, it's not all the statues, they just have the Trinity here. They have Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman. Well, they had Superman, he, he's kind of gone. So they just had Batman and Wonder Woman, who are by far the most popular characters in the DC Cinematic Universe. Yeah. There's a reason or, why they were kind of... Lantern. Green Lantern? You know what? His cameo, or a Green Lantern's cameo, when they fought off uh, Steppenwolf, like, in the past, I thought it was really cool, but I really liked what... Did you hear what Zack Snyder's uh, ending to Justice League was going to be? What? Like, after um, Bruce and Diana go to the old Wayne Manor that is going to become the Hall of Justice, which... I don't know how I feel about that. Um, uh, why would Wayne Manor become? <laughs> oh my gosh! What? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, uh, one of the scenes at the very end of the movie, aside after the well, the Superman and Flash thing, that was a John uh, Josh Whedon scene. The ending that uh, Zack Snyder had in mind is after you know surviving and everything like that and establishing stuff. Um, Batman was going to get a warning from two Green Lanterns, one being Kil uh, Kilowog, and the other, I don't know, it wasn't John, it wasn't Hal Jordan, it might have been Abin Sir, which is the guy who gives, you know, Jordan his ring when he's mortally wounded, uh, fighting yeah. Sinestro, 
but I think that would have been a better world-building thing because everybody kind of liked Kilowog in the Ryan Reynolds movie. You know, yeah, they wanted Kilowog more of him. Awesome. And apparently it was going to be the same guy who voiced him in the uh, Green Lantern movie. Oh, that mm -hmm. would be cool. So you're saying what happened at the end with the Green Lanterns again? I'm sorry. Kilowog and another one was supposed to come give Batman a warning that Darkseid was coming. Oh, that would have been interesting. That would have been cool, but... Yeah, nope. that would have been way cooler than whatever they did, where they... What was it? Oh, yeah. What's his name? Was it his cell going in? Darkseid is coming. That wasn't lame. No, I'm not talking about the end of Batman v Superman. I'm talking about the end of Justice League. Oh. Batman v Superman, you know. Um, ring, 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 ring. That, that ending was always there. Because you have to remember that... Uh, Everything that Zack Snyder wanted to put in uh, BVS ended up in BVS. I'm talking about Justice League, his movie that was horribly uh, butchered by Warner Brothers. And the thing I didn't understand is they could have done the, the There's end. a lot of things. They could have done the end better with BVS with the uh, with the um, with Slade or whatever. That that's also Justice League. That was actually a uh, Snyder scene as well, because his next movie that he wanted to do for Justice League Part 2 was the rise of the Injustice League, which would be Deathstroke, Lex Luthor, Metallo, and uh, Cheetah, and some other villains. Possibly Joker or Harley Quinn, or somebody... somebody it might have been Bane, I don't know. I, nobody knows who the Batman villain was going to be in the Injustice League, but... I think it was probably going to be Deathstroke, because um, while he's appeared as a villain for other people, like, he has messed with Batman quite a bit. And Batman's son, Grayson. Like, he's a Titans villain, you know? Yeah. Let me just check the handy-dandy map. Is that everything? That is everything. See? So, finally, the Hall of Justice and the other place is totally done. I keep uh, trying to check for this okay, stupid so my uh, follower following suitcase. Is but... there is, I don't think there is a suitcase. I think that our fans are thinking of something else. Or maybe Hawkman or something. I don't remember. But, um, I cannot find one. Yeah, we, I, I'm pretty sure we got everybody that's supposed to be over here. But this was a really fun episode. I, I really had fun with it. Like, uh, going to the Watchtower and then exploring a little Even bit more I'll of the Hall of Justice. I don't like that it's in Metropolis. That bugs me to no end, but, uh, it you know. It would bug me more to have it in Wayman Manor. It would have, yeah, I, I'm glad it's not in Gotham. But anyway, guys and gals, that does it for this episode of LEGO DC Super Villains. Thanks so much for taking Yay. the time to watch. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing, uh, Jon Stewart with hair. <laughs> <laughs> not... John Stewart with hair. Yeah, I think it's kind of cool. But um, don't forget to like, Fabulous comment, hair. subscribe, check out some of the other cool vids we got uh, going up later today. And uh, we hope you guys have a great rest of your day. In the comment section below, tell us your favorite Green Lantern and why they're your favorite. <laughs> bye bye. See ya.